welcome back to our Advent adventure through yoga. This is the final week where we are focusing on love. Now this video is released on Wednesday and we just have two more days until Christmas. So if you haven't had a chance to go back and do the other Advent practices of hope, peace, and joy, they're on the playlist. Feel free to do that now. So today is just going to be a little gentle flow. I already have my candles lit. So this is the candles of hope, peace, and joy. And then I have my candle of love. So for Advent, we light a candle each week, really focusing in on those themes. So as I light the, the candle, blessed is the season which engages the whole world in a conspiracy of love. Blessed is the season that engages the whole world in a conspiracy of love. So the mantra today, I allow love to fill my body and soul. Today, I am love. Seated with the hands at heart center, eyes are closed. I allow love to fill my body and soul today and every day. I am love. I allow love to fill my body and soul today. I am love. I allow love to fill my body and soul today. I am so gently begin to open your eyes. If you have a sweater, let's go ahead and place that off to the side. We'll use it later for our final meditation. Let's go ahead and make our way into our tabletop position. So we'll just start with a few basic cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, chin to chest. Let's just do one more. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, chin to chest. Then inhale, come to the neutral spine. Extend that right leg back. Keep the hip square. Flex the foot. Inhale that left arm forward. Take a breath in as you exhale. Knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Then exhale. Begin to twist back for half bow. But don't actually connect. We got three more of those. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, open. Inhale. Nice fluid movement. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, as you exhale, reach back, and then you can clasp the outside of the foot, kick into that half bow. On your next inhale, reach out long, exhale, all fours, round out the back. Inhale, come to neutral spine. Let's do the same thing on the opposite side. Left leg goes back, keep the hip square, flex the foot, belly is engaged. Inhale, reach that right arm, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, open, half bow, but don't connect, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, this time reach for the outside of the foot, kick the foot into the hand, we open up here, on your next inhale, release, exhale, tabletop, round it out. Shake it out. Come to neutral. Take the knees a little bit wider, but not the heart or puppy pose. Inhale, come up, plant your hands, tuck the toes downward, facing dog. So for today, it's going to be a bit of a modified vinyasa. Inhale, and as you exhale, step the right foot forward, coming to a low lunge. So we did this on the first stage, being a nice stretch for that front leg, but as you inhale, begin to reach your arms. As you exhale, tuck your pelvis, pull the arms in. So you a deep stretch here. Three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, extend up. As you exhale, take an open twist. And you can stay here, you can begin to take that left elbow to that left knee, reach back for outside of that right foot. 
So different levels for different people. So it's definitely a twist. Let's inhale, release all of that up. Exhale, plant the hands, tuck the toes, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, and as you exhale, step the left foot forward. So the same thing on this side. We're gonna rise up, sink the hips, but you're still engaging through the inner thighs. So you're not collapsing here. Inhale, lift the arms, and as you exhale, pull the arms, gently tuck the pelvis. Three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. And inhale, extend up, take that open twist. Right elbow, left knee, reach back, just gently for the inside. Getting a twist, stretch, strength, the whole thing. Inhale up, exhale, Ooh, a little wobbly, plant the hands, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. So gaze the top of the mat, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, lift the arms, rise up into chair and then fold right back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in as you exhale, step the right foot forward. Inhale, rise up for a high crescent lunge. We're going to do that again. Inhale, as you exhale, tuck it in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, Exhale, inhale, high lunge, and as you exhale, open the twist. And you can begin to reach back for revolved dancing warrior. Inhale, now we're gonna take that left elbow to the outside of that left knee, place the hands to the heart, and revolve even more. Inhale, exhale. You can always do this with that back knee on the ground as well. Take a breath in as you exhale, plant the hands, stepping back, Downward facing dog, same thing on the other side, breathe in. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, tucking that pelvis, pull the elbows in, inhale. Extend, find the length. Exhale, find the stretch. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, extend all the way up. Exhale, open twist to the left. Take that right arm up and back. Revolved Dancing Warrior. Now take that right elbow to the outside of the right knee, left hand on top of the right hand for prayer. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, as you exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Gaze to the top of the mat, step forward, forward fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms for chair pose, then stand all the way up. So we're going into dancer pose. So start with that right leg, grab the top of the right foot, and take the right hand to the inside of the foot. Kick the foot into the hand. So it is a back bend and a heart opener, but it's more about that leg kicking, opening, and extend that arm out. So you might get a little bit wobbly. If you want to go a little deeper, you can grab a hold of the ankle and extend it up if you need balance, help. Grab a hold of the wall. Inhale, and exhale release. Go ahead, shake it all out. So I'll turn this way, so again, you can hold onto a wall. You can even just stay here, holding onto the top of the foot. Or go ahead and take the left hand the inside of the left foot, keeping that shoulder open, kick the foot into the hand, find a point of focus. Maybe you wobble, maybe you bring the hand to the heart, kick the foot into the hand even more. Inhale and exhale, shake it all up. Back to the top of the mat, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift up, exhale, bend the knee, plant the hand, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, and as you exhale, step the right foot forward. This time, seal off the back foot. We're rising up for warrior one. So we're gonna bring the arms up, and as you exhale, lower the hands down, straighten the legs. Inhale up, exhale down. So you're kind of doing this big 
sweeping motion with the arms. You got two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Sink it down. Clasp the hands. Inhale. Lift the heart. Exhale. Fold for humble warrior. So we've been here earlier this week. You can stay here or you can begin to release the hands, getting a deeper stretch. So you take the right shoulder underneath that right knee and then you plant the hands. We'll begin to release, unwind, window open for warrior two. So inhale, straighten the leg, lift the arms, exhale, sink. Inhale, exhale. Three more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, window both hands to the inside of that right foot as you lift the left one. So you're sinking down to your lizard pose. Breathing deeply into the stretch. Inhale. And as you exhale, go ahead and tuck the back toes, press into the hands, step back, downward facing dog. So same thing on that left side. Inhale, as you exhale, step the left foot forward, so off the back foot into your warrior one. Inhale, reach the arms. As you exhale, straighten the legs. So four more. Doing this nice sweeping motion. Very fluid. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. So sink down into your warrior one as you inhale. Exhale, clasp the hands. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold for humble warrior. So you can stay here. You can begin to place the hands to the ground, snuggle that left shoulder under that left knee, keeping that left hip in and engaged. Then on your next inhale, begin to window up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten, lift, exhale, sink. Four more, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale. And exhale, I think we've got one more here. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, and as you exhale, place both hands to the inside of that left foot. Left heel in, left toes out, come to the top of that back leg, sink the hips and lift the heart. Just hold and breathe here for a few more breaths. Maybe shake out your head, yes and no. Begin to plant the hands, tuck the toes, step back, downward facing dog. So we're going to step forward to the top of the mat, coming into forward fold. I'm going to turn and face this way because we're going to bend the knees and lower down into a ball squat. Now my heels lift, that's just my physiology. If your heels touch, that's fine. Either one is better than the other. We are going to try to squeeze everything in and balance. So this is my fun balancing Christmas tree. So my heels are still lifted, open up the knees as wide as you can. Begin to reach your arms all the way up. Maybe the hands come to prayer, maybe you clasp the fingers lifting up your index finger. Nice balancing Christmas tree. One more breath in and out. Release everything, bring the knees in, and then standing forward fold. You can come back to the top of the mat. So from here, just coming to the tops of the knees, standing here for just a gentle camel pose, hands to the low back, inhale, lift the heart, exhale, press the hips forward. Inhale, and exhale, cross the feet behind you. We're gonna sit back, going to reverse tabletop flow. Inhale, lift the hips, exhale down. Just three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Begin to extend the legs out. Feet are hip width distance. Go ahead and move the flesh away from the sits bones. Spine stretch forward, extend the arms out. Inhale as you exhale, chin to chest. Reach the fingers forward, round it up. Inhale up, exhale. One more inhale, exhale. Inhale, sit up. So we're going to a half frog. 
So take your right leg out to the side, your left leg extends. So you create a bit of a 90 degree angle here. And then just begin to fold forward any amount. Be pretty intense here. So just begin to breathe into that mantra. I allow love to fill my body and soul. Today, I am love. Blessed is the season which engages the whole world in a conspiracy of love. I'm going to come up, so I want you to keep this shape. So right leg is bent, the right hand comes behind, and you just begin to lift up. And lower back down. We're going to switch sides. Not very graceful to get in and out of this. So you take your left leg out, bent, right leg extends, and then folds over. So this is my really tight sides, so just being gentle, being aware, focusing on those mantras. May love fill my body and soul. Today, I am love. Blessed is the season that engages the whole world in a conspiracy of love. And begin to come all the way up. The left knee is bent, left hand comes behind. Begin to press up. Just give that a nice stretch. And coming back. So let's come to a comfortable cross-legged position. If you have a sweater, you like to put that on now. Go right ahead. So we have one closing passage to finish us off with our Advent Yoga. So go ahead and find a comfortable seated position. Move the flesh away from the sits bones. Hands can be on the knee. If they're on the knee, go ahead and place your palms face up in a gesture of receiving or hands at heart center. This is a quote by Henry Nouwen. Master of both light and darkness, send your Holy Spirit upon our preparations for Christmas. We who have so much to do, seek quiet spaces to hear your voice each day. We who are anxious over many things look forward to your coming among us. We who are blessed in so many ways long for the complete joy of your kingdom. We whose hearts are heavy seek the joy of your presence. We are your people walking in darkness yet seeking the light. To you we say, come, Lord Jesus. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. May you have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a joyous New Year. Namaste. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're getting stronger in your yoga practice each week. Like this video and subscribe for weekly yoga videos and comment down below on videos that you would like to see in the future. And if you're looking to deepen your practice, you need help with nutrition coaching or even strength and conditioning, check out my website at michellehensonharris.com. The link will be down below for all of my coaching packages. And if you're also looking for exclusive content sent to your inbox each week, such as blog posts, recipes, breakdown of certain yoga postures, then subscribe to my email list at the website as well, michellehensonharris.com. Again, thank you so much and namaste.